Kabbalistic news. News without a spiritual component is endemically false. Hello, this is Kabbalistic News. My name is Timeless. President Trump has recently uh, imposed, uh, or threatening to impose, tariffs upon our neighbor Mexico. And there's a lot of trade going back and forth, and he's doing this to try to force them into some sort of action. He likes tariffs. He also put tariffs on China. I don't really understand tariffs. It seems like it's making the consumer pay more to the government so to allow Mexico to send us an avocado. And it seems to me that money is just overvalued in our society. It's part of being a remnant of the empire of Rome that Rome ruled by the coin, the coin of Rome. And uh, uh, that why do we need the money? Because everything that we want in life is valued as a certain coin. America, who is the richest nature, nation in the world, and who has really, uh, for our size, a relatively very small population, 300 million, I mean, China has one and a half billion, and uh, India has over a billion. And we have this huge economy, and we have this very vibrant uh, economic system, and we're overflowing with money, and our government constantly needs all this money to defend us. And part of that, I guess, is going out into outer space, but the truth is, if we actually took our resources and made sure that everyone in our country had a place to live, didn't have to be a big place, be a tiny home, and had food, you know, we, as Americans, I think we have a right to eat, and uh, health care, basic health care, and people wouldn't need money so much. If you wanted a TV, you may have to go out to work and get some money and buy a TV. And, and eventually, you know, I mean, it's just silly to spend all this money on these ridiculous things while people in our country are suffering. And this certainly has to change. But in the meantime, one must wonder, why is uh, Trump so into tariffs? And perhaps the reason is because his administration has stolen so much money and, uh, and just funneled just so much money to rich people that uh, uh, he's trying to cover it up by bringing in billions of dollars from tariffs so that it won't be seen. And... Uh, I was going to say. You know, m money is not really my kind of thing to want to talk about, but it's such a big part of life. And eventually we will get beyond money and realize that the human being is worth more than any amount of money. There is no one in the whole universe, there's no life in the whole universe, terrestrial life other than us. And, and, and the greatest part of being in this world is to be a human being who uh, can think thoughts and articulate words and really get shit done in the world, really change things. And, you know, they say that the, the um, most difficult part of death is, is embarrassment. You know, first of all, you lose your body, and there you are, you know, just completely naked without a body. And you're embarrassed. You don't get a body until sometime later. You have to get judged for it. Anyway, there's a whole thing that goes on. But, you know, if a person lived their whole life for money, and everyone knows you can't take it with you, money has no value in heaven. 
So, you know, in the end, the person's in Paris. They have nothing. They don't have the money. And they don't have good deeds. They didn't have their brother and their sister. They didn't make sure the children, you know, you know, or, you know, go to bed, you know, not hungry and have safety. There's so many things to do that one could be proud about when we go to the next world. And believe me, one of them ain't money. So terrorists, no terrorists, you know, money is overvalued. Anyways, this has been Kabbalistic News.